John, I wonder why Emmanuel is not yet here. I hope this is not a plan to sabotage this very important meeting. Solomon, calm down. I know him very well. He will come. He better come early. Ah, here comes Emmanuel and Good Peter. Afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I think all the political parties are here represented. Without further waste of time, I think we can start this meeting. We are here today to discuss the issue of unification with French Cameroon, yes. what I mean Eastern Cameroon. When we last met in Kumba, in the conference of all political parties from British and French Cameroon, we all agreed to work steadfastly to achieve a unified Cameroon. We are here to know the final position of each party. So, you have the floor. Why don't you give your position first? Look, this is not a personal or child play matter, please. The division of Cameroon was an arbitrary, artificial and immoral act Designated to suit by the imperialists, it benefited no one but the British and French governments. Yes, no one can tell me that the division of Cameroon was in the interest of Cameroon. No one. Put it in my mind, it was a mistake. A mistake is not corrected by simply accepting it or arguing that it has gone for a long time. Time does not make a mistake right. I mean, time does not make any mistake right. If you people have nothing to say, then don't waste us time. Ah. Ah. The issue here is not questioning the partitioning of Cameroon, but the possibility of uniting with a partner with no experience of federation, with a different administrative and political history. Oh, yes. A country with an alien culture and language. And whose political system is so new. Um, uh, Emmanuel, I think it is necessary we avoid the contamination of the political chaos of the East. What? what exactly are you saying? Okay, tell me. What could the Southern Cameroons gain by associating with the long and strange French administered territory. Many things. <laughs> I say many things. Even you, Bobby. Yes, even me. You know very well that the division of German Cameroon between France and Great Britain had divided many families, making them strangers to each other. Strangers to each other, but despite linguistic and tribal affinity. <laughs> Let us not fool ourselves. It would be unwise to abandon a show and flowing vessel, which gives us show landing, than to allow ourselves to drift in an open light boat because we hope to be picked up by a new and better vessel, which we have not even seen on the horizon. Uh, gentlemen, we originally dreamt of a united Cameroon. That will fuse the sections under the British trusteeship territory first. Yes. And later incorporate the sectors under the French administration. And that was your stand at the Kuma conference with Emmanuel. So what has suddenly happened? Why all these bold faces? Why now? Why? Well, that was our dream. But the experience soon told us how unreal and unhypothetical. The dream was. Although my colleagues and I still believed in the unification of the two Cameroons, intervening events and circumstances have removed the issue of unification from our realm of urgency. It was necessary to consider the wise philosophy of St. Paul and to see the folly in persisting in childish thoughts after growing into manhood. 
and hence my party has modified its decision on the issue of unification. It is a matter no longer on our priority list. Good day, gentlemen. Let's go. These guys are not serious. Dear brothers, I mean, anti chair politics is not the best. It solves no problem. It will never solve any problem. Let's take this matter serious. Brothers, yes. let us see what we can do. At least if we join our heads together, we can come up with something very concrete. Yes, together. Let us see what we can do. I think reunifying is the best solution. Ben, beware of premature unification. Mm -hmm. In, in my party, we want the Southern Cameroons to enjoy a period of nominal independence before reunification. Then why should we keep on wasting time? I do. I think time has come for immediate unification and independence. Okay. Unification is a prerequisite of independence. Okay. I defy you. <laughs> that cannot work there. Look, Southern Cameroon must enjoy a period of nominal independence before unification. No. Yes. Yes. Unification, independence. Okay. No, 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 no. Look. My brothers. Look, <laughs> you want to spoil yeah. this meeting. They are not I would not be a party to to, to <laughs> so, so, no. what are you what are you saying? No, no, no. So the Cameroon must enjoy a period of nominal independence before you unification. unification. John, let this this place. I think oh, no, that's no. our start and it's, it's yes, final. No. Spoiler. No. 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 What are you saying? You cannot work like that. Never, never, never. No. Like and subscribe on Waka Africa TV on YouTube to follow all the episodes of The Wedding, the historical journey of Cameroon towards a unitary state.